A lawyer has told the BBC that developers of new homes are imposing hefty annual charges on people who buy freehold houses. These changes can be hundreds of pounds a year and are not regulated. Let's talk more to Paul Lewis, the presenter of Moneybox, of course, who joins us now. Um, Paul, good morning to you. Hello, Naga. Um, just to be clear, these are freehold homes, not leasehold, so, but, pay, yes. but owners still have to pay an annual rent. Yes, absolutely. And you remember the sort of leasehold scandal of a few months ago when the government said it would stop any regular ground rent, it was called in the case of leasehold. But now developers, now they're not really going to sell houses leasehold anymore. They're selling them freehold, but they're imposing this annual fee, um, which is called a rent charge, to, I mean, it's to pay for things like maintenance of the estate and um, lighting and that kind of thing, because sometimes these estates are not adopted by the local council. But it, it's, in one case, we've come across Across, it's nearly £200 a year and this lady Denise is concerned it's going to go up and she's a pensioner and she would find it very hard to pay so there is a great concern about it we've talked to the conveyancing association and one of their directors told us that um, she's concerned it is it is becoming more common uh, and because these are unregulated and uncapped they could rise to any amount mm, that's the issue isn't it is that they're uncapped so that's where the nervousness comes in so if people are buying a new home how can they pr protect themselves and their wallets obviously <laughs> <laughs> well the important thing when you're buying any home particularly a new home is to get your own lawyer not one that's been given you by the developers because that creates a potential conflict of interest get your own lawyer get them to look carefully at all these terms and what you're in for what you're liable to pay um, and make sure that uh, you can uh, you can afford it and that you're happy with it and do remember and do ask your lawyer particularly okay it's 200 pounds a year now what could it grow to? And if the answer is, well, we don't know, then I, I think you should probably look elsewhere. And I should say that the Conveyancing Association is so worried about this, it's actually mentioned it to the government. It's written to the government to say, well, you're controlling ground rents. Maybe you should include the rent charge in those controls. So what do the developers say about all of this, Paul? Well, Persimmon, the developer, says uh, Persimmon operates a fair policy of charging reasonable administration fees. Purchasers and their solicitors are provided with all details, uh, material to the property during the purchasing process so they're basically saying we're fine and that's certainly true but the worry is that these rent charges could be sold on to other firms um, and they could then start putting them up. Paul always good to hear from you thanks for bringing this to our attention and of course you're going to be doing more midday Radio 4. On Moneybox Radio 4 Indeed, as ever. indeed thanks, have a good programme see you Paul.